Everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of It's Jenkins. This episode of It's Jenkins is brought to you by Wolverine QS. Wolverine QS, we almost had it. Well, in the end of the last episode, I said I wasn't sure whether we were going to jump or not because of the sea build situation we were in. But I did go into our uh, storehouse of stuff and it sold off a whole bunch of things. We had a bunch of old vehicles, some VTOLs, things like that. I, I assembled a bunch of uh, older vehicles and some older Macs and stuff. Scrapped them, sold them. Uh, we had a couple of XL engines that I sold. I managed to get up to around seven, I think it was like 7.7 .7 million, something like that. It was a fair amount of sea bills we ended up having. So I did decide to jump and try and get as many mechs back as possible. I did do some refits. So if we go to the mech bay here, have a quick look. So we had to rebuild the Vindicator after that last disaster. I'm not 100% happy with it, but it's okay for now. Black Knight went through a little minor change. The um, Mad Cat or Savage Wolf is back now. So that's ready to go. The Savage Wolf, I think we did the refit on camera for this one. Uh, but it's back up. It's going to be the main mech in the second lance. It's got the Hag Goss Rifle, the Clan Goss Rifle, and the Large Improved Heavy Laser. Nice heavy pinpoint with these two. A nice scatter with this guy. So that's up and running and ready to go. We've got the range finder in here, AR-12 Sheep Beacon, Gauss Rifle uh, Accuracy Bonus and Damage. Um, yeah, Heat Bank. It's a little, yeah, it's a little heat heavy, but we can cycle the large improved heavy on and off. Plus, it's it's got a range of 600, and the Gauss Rifles are obviously shooting farther. That's 900, and this one's close to the same, right? Yeah, 960. So we've got range with these two. So we'll be engaging at range first. We'll stay cool, and then we'll drop some heat when we get closer. So I'm not too worried about that. So that guy's back. Then I don't think I had a, I touched this lance at all. It stayed the same. Uh, Valkyrie stayed the same. The Black Knight I did do... We lost the large laser in the arm at the end of the last battle that we were in. And I thought, well, it's a good opportunity to work in an AMS. Now, I did have an additional um, slot here in the leg that I didn't really see when I was putting this together. I think when we first got this... Because I think what what happened, we, we, we first got the Black Knight, I loaded it out, we had six hard points. And I think one of the updates changed the hard points because I think we got a hard point in the leg of the Vindicator as well. And I didn't notice it until later. So we had an additional hard point. So was, what I did is I shifted the chem lasers all over one. Well, basically we pulled the one out of here and put it in here. So the chem lasers are all on the one side now. So I'm happy to kind of like sacrifice my right side if we lose these not such a not such a big deal i mean i don't have any replacements but we could work something out so i was able to squeak in the ams mark ii with a couple tons of ammo i dropped one heat sink that we had and dropped in a light ppc because the light ppc is actually um nine heat less than the um than the large laser so that went in here so we dropped our damage by 10 points when we dropped the large laser for the light PPC and then gained an AMS Mark II, which I think is a good trade-off. We got more range with this. So this is our ranged side and this is our close inside. So we should be able to target more at range and get a little bit more damage out uh, while we're moving slowly. AMS Mark II to keep us and our allies safe, most likely the Vindicator because it's slow as hell too. And then the Vindicator, like I said, I, I toyed with this guy. It's, it's, a, uh, it's one of those builds that you just don't know like, it's, it's a tough choice. So uh, with what I had, I ended up going a, a full energy build on this. We do have an AMS in here, uh, Mark II in the leg as well. So that's going to help out. we got cased ammo on the one side, uh, heavy industrial uh, armor in order so we can kill the, carry this handheld Rock II. Um, but yeah, it's like all the slots are used. So I didn't really have... Am I happy with it? No. Is it okay? Yes. I included the modular armor in the arm because this is where all the firepower is. So we got an extra 18 points in this arm here, which isn't bad. I mean, it brings it to 88, so snubs are protected a little bit. Went with the energy accuracy. Uh, cockpit, I swapped that out for the other one that we had. Uh, I included the range sensors on this guy just to get some more range out of the diverse optics. These are 480, or sorry, 420, but they're going up to around 40, so four, yeah, 462 or something like that. So it gives them a little bit more range um, just because we're so slow. Gives the snubs a bit more range as well, but... I'm mostly concerned about the medium lasers getting the range. And it's brutal because we had a clan double heatsink kit in here before. We lost that, which means we lose like two slots because we have to go with regular double heatsinks because the engine's so small. 
So that was brutal. Was able to drop an exchanger in here. We lost our uh, targeting system at long range, but we need this heat heat drop here because we're uh, well. It was pretty warm. Wait a minute. Do I need this? I don't need that. Why did I leave it in? Oh, you know what? I think when I was first building this system, I didn't have snubs. I had. I I was trying to work in the um, the streak heavy, heavy streak PPC. That was what it was. I was trying to make that work. It would be everything would just be built around that weapon, right? And then I left it by mistake. So that in that case, I would rather go with like what do we got? Three and a half tons. That's a three ton bolt on. We've already got AMS, so I don't I don't think I have any targeting left. I'm pretty sure I don't. Thermal mass I don't need. Yeah, we're out of. Yeah, we're out of targeting. It's it's yeah. The sniper rifle, the eight ton plasma rifle. Um, can we, we got what, three and a half? Can we get a triple? Oh, these are six ton bolt ons. These are four. Wow, really? Four tons? Really? It's a single rocket launcher. I guess we could put in. You know what? Let's just leave the exchanger for now. It'll save us a day switching things around. We don't really need it. I'm not even going to be close enough for grenades. It's too bad we can't drop a tag in there. You'd think there would be a bolt-on tag. You know, if it, like, it's just, why wouldn't there, why couldn't you get a bolt-on tag? You know, make it a ton, keep it the same weight, but just make it a bolt-on item that you can just bolt onto the outside. It's bizarre that the, the chassis is made to carry a certain amount of weight, but then you can strap a 10-ton, like 10 more tons on the outside. The feet, are you, you're assuming the feet are set up to carry the weight of the mech, right? To, to spread the ground pressure. Adding an extra 10 tons to a mech would, would should make it slower, but whatever. Yeah, I was going to try like an, an MRM build as well on this guy with an MRM 30. Um, but the problem is it's 10 tons, right? So, and it's just the damage I don't think was, was going to be there. Because we didn't have any accuracy, right? I don't have anything to increase the accuracy of this thing, so... At least the streak PPC has got the the evasion ignore and the and the uh, bonus chance to hit right. This is already minus one, so it makes up like it subtracts the arm. So it's plus two for the other PPC. So I think we just leave this as it is, for now, because I want to drop into a fight here. I already know what we're gonna do. So yeah, that's that. I, I mean, we didn't. I didn't change much. So we've got this lance and this lance. We've got some good uh, missions we can take on the planet. So let's go to the command center here. Got everybody back. We got a three skull mission here. I want to grab against. Actually, this one's that's Tamron Abbey. We're gonna save that one. This one is against the, the single well armed lance from the Marion. So I'm hoping for some quick sell out of that. So let's negotiate that. And I think we're gonna go. We got the money. Let's just go 315. We'll get the extra three on the draw. It's for me usually it's not worth it. 312 is usually good at that rating. And let's see if we can load in. Come on. You're still thinking about that last mission. Yeah, there we go. Let's see if we can load Jenkins in this time. Probably not, but we'll see what happens. At least we'll get most of them there, won't we? Yeah, we got most. That's fine. Right? We got the ferret. We got the pegasus. Oh, uh, the other thing, too. Just want to make sure everybody's up here first before we start. Because um, I did bring some vehicles forward. Uh, wait. You gotta go out. You're fine. You're fine. Why it thought she was the commander of the lance, I don't know. Um, and then we need the Valkyrie. So that's all good. So I did bring some vehicles forward and dropped others. We did have enough for the Hetzer. I, I don't know where I got it or maybe I didn't. Uh, at some point in time we picked up parts. I, I don't know where we would have. But I somehow had enough in storage to put the Hetzer back together. So we're going to bring that back into the game here. Was it Junker that was piloting it? Come on. Come on, you know you want to show me. Yeah, you were piloting the Hetzer, right? And Earthquake was... What were you running? Yeah, I brought you forward because we lost, right? So let's drop the Pegasus. Bring the Ferret back. Bring the Hetzer back out. Because it is quick sell. 
and I sold the Scaddy that we had. I don't know. That thing, it was a quick sell helicopter that we used like, I don't know, a couple of times. But it was like 800 and something thousand to sell. It was beautiful, the amount of Seabills. The VTOLs, when I picked up that VTOL that last mission, definitely the way to go. Is, it's They're good sells for sure. So we're going to go that route, I think. Did I bring forward? Yeah, I brought the Marksman forward. So now we have an additional artillery vehicle. And I think I dropped, no, the Chaparral's still there. And, and the uh, Tetsudo is, is here too as well with the Arrow and the Ultra 10. So I brought those forward. We can reuse those for heavier missions, I think, with the second Lance. But with the primary Lance, I think we're going to stick with the faster vehicles. So uh, let's go do this. Yep, I know. Yep, I know. Command interface initiated. All right, let's hope for some crazy ass quick sell units here. They got a single. Wow, well, they're gonna get reinforcements. You know damn Whoa. well they're gonna get reinforcements. Look at this place. It's so green. Green, green, green. You know damn well they're gonna get reinforced. Well, maybe not. They might not. We're gonna start here. Let's start a little closer, because we're slow as hell. But we'll be behind the hill, so we're fine. In theory. In theory. All right, what are we looking at here? Archer, quick draw, quick sell four. Ooh, okay. I can't remember. Did we pick up the quick draw parts, or did we did that battle go down as one of the ones that we couldn't get anything from? I think that was what happened. That we we lost out on the on that. Let's get you up. On my way. Double time. You are our scout. You know, I like this lance because it's. Like when I when I we, when we played tabletop battle tech, it was always like you had your you know your heavy guy in the lance and a couple of mediums and a light as the scout at, per lance, and that's kind of what this feels like. There's like a couple of mediums, a heavy, and a scout, and I I like being able to drop into battle this way. That's the archer. What do we got? Trebuchet seven M, Peril LRM fifteen. So he's got to go fast. So he's got a pair of double AC fives. Light AA missile racks, huh? Well, that's interesting loadout. And you got two LRM 20s. Oh boy. Um, I know it doesn't matter. He's farther away. Let's lock him. He's farther away. Let's lock him. You're almost close enough for a ping. I want to wait till we find out what that last guy is. Well, good thing we got two AMS Mark IIs. That should at least get us into battle. Minimum damage. This guy's nothing. Yeah, don't. You you don't. You don't do that. Yep. Don't do that. Please don't do that. This guy's got nothing. You know damn well he's got Roger. something. So I think what we're going to do, depending on the battle, is we'll swap out the Hetzer. For the uh, wait, do we got the other guy up here? No, we don't. Somebody is hidden. We'll swap out the headser for the Pegasus, depending on the battle. Like if I figure, like if we're in a jungle terrain, like that last battle where we're going to be using going across water, we'll swap it out for the Pegasus for the hovercraft. Oh, somebody's got something. Hunchback 4E. Okay. Ready for orders. Yeah. Let's respond. Uh, so the snubs are on the left side. So I'm going to turn a little bit more to the right here. Keep them protected for longer. Right? Did I get that right? I got that right, didn't I? I'm sure we'll find out. 2830. 2225. Um, yeah, let's Copy that. go after this guy. For it's a sensor issue. Um, I think we can get down that way. You got to get some speed up, so let's get the Duke up here. I know we're bunching up, but we're not. We're not going to be here for very long. Receiving you. All right, Scooter. Um, do I want you on somebody? That's the question. I think so. Let's move in here. Yeah, damn it! I didn't do my thing. You know, I was th as I was explaining the mechs to everybody, I'm like, oh, I'll just go ahead and I'll fix my my uh, shot order. 
Fuck's sake. ADHD. Can't live with it. Have to live with it. All right. You're done. I await your command. Now, you don't... Oh, you do have the ability to shoot somebody. Well, I, I pity that guy. That's probably just the snubs, though, so it's not a big deal. And maybe the shotgun. Which we'll bring down to the end and turn on. That snubs in light. Beautiful. Let's actually put this guy up higher. All right. Not that great, but we'll Firing take it. On target. Nothing. That's fine. You'll get yours. What the what? That's what I was saying, buddy. Here comes the archer. 40 tubes. Good thing we got lots of AMS ammo in the Black Knight. I got two tons. We didn't hit any of them, but he didn't hit us, so... That's alright. comes to double shots. And he took a crit. Already reducing his chance to hit. Yeah, the doubles are like... Commander. If you can kill the enemy real quick... Then they can kind of be worth it, but if you can't kill the enemy real quick, mm, I don't know. Iffy prop, very iffy proposition. Okay, get down here. We're gonna Understood. ping these guys. Moving fast. Yeah, you got the sight thing too. How? Where's my range? Oh, we got this guy, and that's it. Um, no, let's hold off. We'll see if we can get more. It's going to mean him getting close, but at least the LRMs won't be... Well, I guess if they're dead fire, every bad. Hey, watch the paint, pal. Orders? That's my line. Um, can you... Maneuver. You're not too bad for instability. That's a bit better there. Maximum speed. I think we want. I don't want to let the LRMs get direct shot on us, but we are going to take a shot at this guy again. I mean, all these guys are a threat, but right now it's just well, except for the quick draw. I don't see the quick draw as too much of a threat. This guy here, though. Yeah. He starts landing big shots, we're in trouble. Systems holding. What do you need? You know what you do. You do what you do, buddy. Do what you do. All right, full speed. Don't get killed. Bing. Okay, that's the hunchback at 42%. Well, this one's better. Definitely take that shot. Here it comes. Let her rip. Yes. Hetzer back in play. How'd that taste? I think it left Johnny a Ball. bad taste in his mouth. Can we capitalize on that though? That's the question. I'm gonna vigilance you because I want you out of here. Beginning of next turn. I don't want to be standing right there. Capitalize on this side shot here. Yes. Oh, that was a CT hit. I'm so sorry, buddy. On it. Oh, I thought for sure we were going to get engine crits there. It's not having a good time, though. Oh, he gets to move. Damn. Oh, well. Trying to get his stability Three back. Quarters. I don't blame you. Uh, can we get the AMS? Yeah, up here a little bit more. I am the wind. Turn our right side, I think, to those guys. I think we're going to target this guy. We see you. Solid connection on that one. You got that uh, right. All right, Duke. Wow. It's the trees that are killing us. Hovers do so such garbage movement in trees, but that's ah, a bad uh, it's a bad map for this guy. That's all right though. Comet, we can uh, capitalize on the streaks here probably. 
Not bad. Got one on. I think he holds his... Somebody told me that the ammo is here. So I think we should be able to take that side. Comes to doubles. Yo, what's up, yo? You're gonna need to bring more than that to the table. You're gonna need to bring more than that to the table. No shooting, just running. Got it. Now the question is, is do I try and kill this hunchback? Or do we try and... This guy's got a lot of damage to the front. Which I can bring the Vindicator around to bear on him. So I think we're okay there. I think what we want to do is kill this guy. Targeting for an front. Oof. A lot of crit potential, but got nothing. A critical hit. Got nothing, really. Really? Both AMSs are back up now. Ooh, we still scored a bunch of hits, though. Barely hit, Commander. We got 11 of yes, them. Commander. Can you get on the front of this archer? You can't. I am going to vigilance you. Because I want you to go ahead of them next turn. And we're going to turn our... right side to them. Because it's got nothing in the arm. So if we lose our arm, I'm not that worried about it. Um... I'm going to turn the rack off because I want to be able to use it at least accurately on the guys in the far, far bit next turn. I think that'll probably be okay. Wow, really didn't, couldn't he hit the CT, eh? Yes, Commander. Yanni, what do you think? I think we want to get some scatter on that uh, hunchback. Let's get the shotgun into play. I mean, I could ping them here too, but I think... Because um, you're open, aren't you? Yeah. Let's see if we can get some crits on that torso. Take shot. God, really? Really? Yeah. Well, you got MGs. We can run this turn, so let's do that. Acknowledge. Push, 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 push. They've got ranged weapons. Push them hard. Machine guns only. There you go. Target destroyed. Excellent. Yeah, Commander. All right, Duke. What do you got for me? Maybe you can get around to the front of that. Uh... Uh, we are out of vigilance. Damn. Um, that's five. That's four. I don't like the fact that we're lined up with the Vindicator here, but we're going after the Archer, so let's give it a shot here. Wish we had some Vigilance to get out of there, but I think we're alright. Well, we got the engine crit. Reporting. Critical hit. Now, I wonder if we can barbecue this guy to death. He's generating no heat, though. So my question is... Is... If we... I'm under heavy fire here. I think he's... He might have that small... The quick cell small cockpit. Yeah, his thing is damaged. He doesn't. He does have compact life support. So if we barbecue him, every time he's in overheat, he's going to take damage. I'm ready. So... Got it, Commander. There's a good chance we can kill him that way. This guy's just... This guy's dead. Confirmed. Uh, why do I open my mouth? Why? I, I, that should have been a kill. Like, all I had to do is hit the CT once. Okay, Mattel, uh, what can you get on here? The archer, you can get on everybody. That's being in the open, though. Do I want you in the open? That's a back shot. 
Yeah, I think we're okay. I don't mind, like, sacrificing the one arm is okay. Yeah, the rack's back up and running here. Let's get this guy. Yeah, he's had enough. Beautiful. All right, and you know your job. I want this quick sell barbecued. This guy can't do anything. Do you understand? I want him to be murdered by heat. Don't forget to do that. Sensors locked on. I gotta keep remembering to do that shit. Target lock on enemy six. Got two, okay. It's a start. It's a start. This guy, I think Treb v Treb, I think we can win this battle. Oh, we got the Hetzer too, I forgot. Armor holding. Aye aye. Yeah, let's not. It's garbage, but we're taking a shot. Copy that. Oh my god, this Hetzer. <laughs> Jesus Christ, I love this thing. Order? Oh my god, I love this thing. That's not a minute distance. Can we get, we can get further down here. Let's make that guy sweat a bit. Let's come around this way. I don't want to go here because I could possibly shoot my own guy. I mean, I can still shoot him from here too, but at least if this guy's got stuff coming up his pipe in my sight to panic yeah he's unsettled now receiving you all right TVT Treb v Treb yeah got it well Treb and a whole bunch of support <laughs> units versus Treb There's a lot of crits for it. Who's got XL? Reporting. Critical hit. He's in trouble. Okay, that hurt. Shit, who'd you hit? Don't know who you hit. Uh, we want to keep our right side Roger that. facing them. Yeah, we're too close to this guy with everybody now. But fuck it. Target confirmed. There you go. Reporting enemy battle mech down. XLs, oh, don't, don't do like it. Me at all. No, we don't like you. So he used his AA -A -A missiles there. Yeah, there's the first injury. Receiving you. This is your battle now. Uh, question is, how much armor do you have left in the back? Oh, good, lots. I copy. Lots of armor. Putting one in the back. Putting three in the back. I'm taking heat damage. Dad, don't worry about it. Okay, you back up. Actually, we gotta get your AMS closer. Can we move? Let's get up here. Double time. Let's go. I don't think his AMS is like. I think he's out of ammo. It's not showing me the circle anymore. Oh, maybe it's... No, it's unjammed. Uh, Hetzer's got a way to turn, so let's pull back here. Let's move. Receiving you. Uh, let's bring you down. Give this guy something to shoot at. Full speed. No target. Yeah, I want this quick draw, and I want it bad. I don't want anyone to die to get it, but... Ready for orders. We definitely want to, um... Wait, where's the... Hetzer's right there. Let's not be close to it. Pull back here. Moving to position. I just don't want shots to spill over. Waiting for orders. And let's get your... Ass up here so this guy can see actually so that was the right side so let's turn our left side I think we're okay I don't think he can actually do too much we just want to get the AMS forward in case he fires those I think he's out of missiles though Great. 
Bracing for impact. We don't need to move because all he can do is restart this turn. Wait. Uh, is it because I can't... Uh, what? Why can't I fire? Uh, I wonder if he's going to eject. Yeah. There you go. That's what it is. Mission successful. Well, there's definitely some drawbacks to some of the quick cell max. Those, the compact life support, you know, dying by overheat. If your mech is cool, that's one thing. But if the enemy's got a flamer mech like I had, you know, there's, there's, you're, there's nothing you can do unless you can vent that heat quick enough. There's our quick cell. Quick cell, uh, tr um, quick draw. We're going to get that thing built up real quick here. Now, what else do we want? Now, light AA missile rack. How is he able to, I guess those are bolt-ons technically. 40 damage times two. That's actually, yeah, they're bolt-ons. Not bad, eh? Is 10 through armor? 10 damage directly to internals. Is that per hit? Because you're firing two, right? So I'm assuming that it's like 10 per hit. That's actually not bad. Mine is 50% chance to be shot down. 30 hit point missile. Minus 8 versus ground units, but plus 6 versus flying units. That's actually not a bad bolt-on if you're, like, constantly facing, like, enemies that have um, flyers, you know? There's the XL exclamation mark. What are you worth? 1.5? Guard dog. Hybrid. We're out of these. I kind of like these better. They fill the, um, the structure slot instead of the armor slot. The armor slot I like to keep free because if you want to put on, like, like rather than using the heavy industrial armor, you could use, like, you know, the reflective coating or something like that. And that keeps, because there's none of that for the, the internals, right? So the hybrids are better. Now, it gives you the plus 30, 30 meter walk distance, but it doesn't give you um, as much weight. It's only two and a half, whereas the industrial armor is three times carrying capacity. I'm going to throw, the, well, we can't. Uh, it it might come in with this. Uh, there's two upper recoils too. Now we don't, do we have, I don't think we got any. No, we didn't. Yeah, I think that mission was one of the ones that we, we didn't win, but we got no bonus for either, even though we did really well. That was the run that Raven tanked us at the end. Yeah, okay. So we got an archer part, hunchback part, which is good because now I can assemble the last hunchback and get the, the stuff out of the, yeah, this I assembled the silver bullet goss one. We never got anything out of it. It had like almost everything was destroyed, unfortunately. That's those rare occurrences. We got two of these. So let's sell that. We can sell these. We can sell these. AC5 flak. I don't know we'll ever use them, but let's hang on to them. LRM ammo can probably just go. I've had almost no LRM build in this. Thunder ammo can go. Pharaoh QS, I don't know. We don't have any, so let's hold it. Narc, we can hold on to. Uh, trebuchet part. Okay, not bad. All right, 75,000. Yeah, we took a bit of damage there. The artillery did it. And plus, the, I mean, the armor and the Black Knight, it's, caught, it's like pricey, pricey, pricey. So what are we looking at for time here? Black Knight, it says five days. It's not really, though. It's four. Cool, we'll put that at the top. So in two days, half our lance is back. Beautiful. So we're going to do that. We could pull enough another mission very quickly. Right? Because we don't have anybody injured, right? Right? Two days for everyone to come back. Yeah, we're, our medical is down a little bit because we had an event that dropped our medical by one. Uh, yeah, not bad. Um, I was just actually thinking as I was loading in, I was like thinking about all those, you know, specialist mechs that you have to find the specialist parts for. Sometimes it's really, really hard to do that. It might be interesting if they offered the ability to use similar mech parts, uh, but at the rate of two or three to one. 
So like, let's say you have a specialist Marauder for whatever reason, and you've got like six other Marauder parts, but you have two specialist Marauder, like let's say it costs three points to assemble it, you've only got two pieces, maybe you can use three pieces of one of the other variant to, to account for one, you know, and build the specialist unit. For those people that are like not wanting to spend forever to try and track down that last piece, the, you could sacrifice, you know, maybe two to one, three to one, or four to one, or something like that of other parts to finish it off. Yeah, just a thought. Same thing with the Quicksaw. I mean, well, Quicksaw, I kind of get why you would need that exact mech. But the thing is, it's just there's so many variants of the Quicksells that it's easier to be able to assemble them than it is for one specialist mech. All right, let's go to the mech bay real quick. Let's get that quick draw out. Welcome to the Grease Pit, Commander. Yes. Okay, so the Panther, I think we can just drop now. Let's put that in storage. I can always rebuild it. It's cheap enough to rebuild. Put you in there. All right, storage. Uh, it's nice that this thing has got hard points on each arm. We still got the Atlas. So many things to put together. Orion. Ah, eh, whatever. Uh, where are you? It's the wrong series for all that. Down here. Let's put you together. That mech you wanted? Yes. It's not a Wolverine, but we'll take it. All right. Quick draw. Let's refit you. Looks like you may have got a little bit. Fire control system flak, eh? I guess this was I guess it was just I got the light AA missile racks survived. What else survived? The tag survived. One of the double AC fives. I think we got one in storage, we do. Hybrid TSM survived. Beautiful. Alright, so let's um repair all. So you can carry fifteen tons. Ferro QS, I'm probably gonna trade out. So what are our hard points? We got one in the leg. One in each arm and three in the one torso. Let's pull you out for a second here. Max out, well, actually, the armor looks like it's pretty good except for the legs and the CT and the arms. Why would you max the armor except for, like the arms are where your weapons are, man. Do it, just max it out. All right, we need to get, so the QS Pharaoh takes up space. We need weight. We've got 20 tons a about. Heavy uses up too many slots, I think. Regular Feral uses up less slots. It uh, We lost a little bit of weight, but the, the bonus is, is that we don't lose a 5% armor. Let's pull these off. Now, the question is, how fast are you? You're a 5.7, so you're kind of in between. I wonder if this might be a Vindicator replacement. It might just be a Vindicator replacement. So it would stay in a fire support role, but because it's faster, we don't have to go with like long range fire support. You know, maybe we could drop the supercharger in it too, make it slightly faster to keep up with the other two mechs. Now we need, um, so weapons right now, let's go with the bolt-on AMS. So we don't have to put a, another AMS in this thing. And I guess, I think all we have really is a sniper rifle. We got the plasma rifle too. That's, you know what? I'm gonna put that in for now. That's an interesting option. Like, do we go with another heater build? Like, Maybe not full heat, or we, this is, we got the upper recoil. And we got the weight. I mean, do we go and do that? What's our heat sinking ability here? I've got prototype double heat sinks and one prototype double heat sink, though. Although we have a plus two core. Which means I could grab, I think I have, yeah, I got plus two engines, so that's going to help. So if we do grab, yeah, see, it's a it's a regular engine, though. It's not a, um, the internal combustion engine really, really helps for heat. So this is the guy with the minus 20 heat generation, flat out standard. I think this one is the best one. 
Coolant begins risk exploding at 60 heat. So we need to make sure we can keep it. Yeah, see, there's just... That's calculator wrong. It's got to be calculator wrong. Thirty-eight. So wait, does this not act like a double heatsink kit, or is it just heat reduction? In which case, we'd need to pull the exchanger off the other off. You know what it is? I'm trying to fudge. We got this PPC capacitor too. I wonder if it worked with the heavy streak PPC. If I could sink the heat. I wonder if we put it in the avatar. The avatar can sink the heat. Yeah, let me think about that. That could go in the avatar. The avatar could easily sink that heat. If we're going to do it, I think that's where it's got to go. Uh, we're going to need a warfare suite, so let's drop that in. Um, so if, I guess it's just going to be a double heat sink kit. Which isn't too bad. That's going to give us 72 with this already. Yeah, 72. So what are we going to do here? We got two arm mounted. Like, I wonder if we swap out with the avatar before I build this and go with the ERPPC build. No, it's not going to work. We got the heavies as well, right? That's 20 times. That's going to eat up all our weight. Yeah, I don't know. Oh, you know what we do have? We got the binary laser. That's a large bin laser. Here it is. Through armor crit. Heat damage stability falls out to 50% starting value at long range. Yeah, but I don't care about that drop-off because we're going to be closing with this mech, right? It's designed to close as opposed to shooting at range. So I'm okay with the drop-off at start. So we could go with the bin laser. And then what? What are we? What else are we going to do weapon-wise? So that's the big gun. And then maybe we go... Actually, does this have recoil? I don't think it does, does it? It doesn't. So we can drop the recoil. Because I don't... I mean, we could go with an AC, though. Because now i got to start thinking about heat. We're at 48 already. So maybe it's uh, an auto cannon on the other arm. What do we got? Oh, we got 10 tons, though. We don't got that much left. Wait, how did it drop so fast? Oh, the armor went on. Um, let's just... Ah, uh, Whenever I have a mech that closes, I'm always iffy about dropping so like too much back armor because the enemy has been prone like known to like come around behind me a fair bit. Uh, let's do that. So we've got ten and a half tons. So if we're gonna go with an AC, it's got to be something light. Don't have just regular ultra fives, eh? LBX is still weighty. That's why I like that, that handheld shotgun. This is 11 tons. The handheld shotgun is technically an LBX without the bonus to hit. For free. Well, for one slot. Like, no weight, you know? And it's only a 6 ton, too, which is confusing to me. I think the range on... Yeah, the shotgun range is, like, short. But this is, um... This has got the 720 range. I mean, do we want to go crazy and go with another, like, a Pirate Rotary 5 build? The whole platform would be built around just this, though. Because it would be this in ammo, pretty much. Hmm. Yeah, the Ultra, I mean, the Ultra 10 would be nice. Do we need this then? 
If we go with the Ultra 10, that gives us a couple tons. So we'd be a bin laser and an Ultra 10. I could make that work, probably. Because maybe we don't go with a plasma rifle, maybe we go with something else and I can pull the, the, the uh, TSM. We have six tons of internal. We could go with a bolt on AMS and some rockets, I guess. The bonus of having, like, carrying a weapon like this is you have uh, firing every turn, whereas the rockets are kind of like one to three shots and then, you know, it's dead weight, whereas this you've got ten turns of continuous firing. Hmm. I wish I had a regular Ultra 5. Actually, what's the... Okay, so the misfire on this is based on what? Mitigated by gunnery. But I don't think it's mitigated by jam chance. That's the thing. This thing's only got... like It can only misfire twice and it's, and it's destroyed, right? Not... <laughs> that's the weird... It's bonus. Is, it's got five recall. But the thing is, is it's destroyed, right? It, it doesn't get repaired. That's the only thing I don't like about the the the, the uh, doubles. It's not so bad with a twenty, because you got like f up to four shots right where you can misfire, and the chance of that happening is really rare, because you're every, you're only firing every two turns right, because the recall is like eight right, so you're not firing every turn. There's no way, although we want to go with a heater. I gotta think about damage output though, because we have two mechs that have to close with the enemy to in inflict damage, already. So we need to have and the yeah we need to have damage output. So maybe maybe we drop the vindicator first and I bring the load over from that into this guy. But I want to kind of keep that as a backup just in case we have to take another mech down. So I can't. This has to be an independent build. Did they change? They did. They changed the X-Pulse. It's 35 damage, not 45 now. That's probably a, that's a, that's a good change. That's a good change. Unless this is the... Oh, this is an Exostar. I'm wondering if this is a different version. Unless they're all this way. I don't have to look... I'll have to look into that. Because I think I missed that change in the change notes. Anyways, let's drop that in temporarily. And then if we go... Like, if we go with a laser build, then I can just add heat sinks, right? Oh, we, we took the double... Right, we took the, the weight off the... Uh, engine to try and find a bigger weapon. I would rather fill slots and max damage, I think, with this guy. The AR-12 is better than the 24, though the 24 shares... So the 24 is better at protecting, protecting your own guys. And the 12 is better at protecting yourself. Which I think I want to go with himself. ECM is already in... Oh, right, we got the Warfare Suite. That'll save two tons there. I think I want to go pr protect yourself first. Because you could be caught out by yourself and, and be unable to uh, share anyway. Com Suite because we don't have any other cockpits. Man, that's... The, it's always one series... Like, every series, you're, I'm always missing something. In this one, it's cockpit. So this is bonus to hit... But recoil added. Which is technically kind of mitigated by the pilot anyway. Because the pilots are right now at a point where we're dropping recoil anyhow. Plus 10% heat generated by weapon fire. I'm not really worried about that right now. But I want the chance to hit because we don't have a targeting system. Tag is a bonus as well. I think that's probably a good... Headpiece. Now we've got 10 tons. I wonder... If we could pull the stuff that we had in the Panther and go with a streak build. 480. So if we go with, like, we have three streak, we have three streak fours. 
That's super hot though. But we're going to be pulling the we're going to be pulling the um, exchanger off of the vindicator. And maybe this isn't a medium X pulse. Maybe it's so we're going to need mm, ammo wise. We're going to need over a ton probably. But I don't think I got a half ton of streak. I got a half ton of clan streak, which doesn't help. I think a ton of streak is probably fine. So that's going to be, let's see, five, eight turns of hitting, which is enough. That's more than enough. So one ton of streak ammo is fine. Now I just, I'm going to need case though. Can I get case two? Ah, oh, crap. Where do I want it though? Let's put, let's take you off, put the bin laser on this side, put the streak ammo over here. Let's get us some case two. Where are you down here? Case two. So if we lose this side, well, the, if we lose this side, we're dead. We're dead anyway. Doesn't matter. But this will, the case two will reduce the damage down to like what? F was it five? Yeah, five points. So we won't technically lose the side, right? But if we do somehow lose this side, then I'm not losing the bin laser and all the streaks. We're just losing this side. That kind of makes sense to me. Hope it makes sense to everybody else. All right, now we got a ton and a half. Um, I don't know if the exchanger is going to be enough for heat regulation on this. What can we drop in here for a ton and a half? Weapon-wise, we could put... Or we want to go with a, an AMS. I don't have... That's a ton... A laser is a ton, is a ton and a half. And it's going to add heat. I got Mark II's. Regular AMS is half ton, right? And I got some caseless ammo. I'm, I'm low on um We do have a half ton of regular ammo, but we have the bolt-on. We're going to we'll drop the bolt-on for the exchanger. So then having that in the arm would be a waste, which means I would put this over here. And we got a leg slot. Like I don't mind having the AMS in the leg. We do that. Do we go with the Mark II? Probably. And then we got one slot free. Or we got one, yeah, we got one slot free. How do I eke out more weight? Up? Oh, I know. Um, let's see how this does. Uh, heavy Pharaoh. That's going to give us almost half a ton. Oh, it gives us over a ton. Well, hello there. So what can we do for a ton then? Weapon wise. Oh, you know what we got? I bought this a long time ago, figuring I could use it for something. This is internal ammo. Right? Eight salvos. If I'm going to... Yeah. Shit. I want to put it where the... Case is, though. I don't have any slots on that side. Which means I would need to pull... I'd have to do this. Oh, God, that's so iffy. And then we put some armor back on. Unless we shift this to the arm. Like, we can keep... Because the streaks already have a bonus to hit. Oops. So you go there, and then... You know, they should be able to sw like swap one weapon for another when you're doing that. Change it over. There's been so many times I've been doing builds that I want to be able to just swap the weapons, but then you got to like put them back in the bin here and go back and get them. If you're going from one point to another, it should just swap the like switch the two. So we got half a ton left over. We're going to have an exchanger which is 15% heat lower. 
So Alpha Strike 90, 15% heat lower is like, what, 13 or 14? That's pretty damn close to being a good uh, heat delta. So we're firing this at range, doing less damage. We're closing. The streaks are going to come online at 480. We're hammering away, and then the machine got into the last little bit. This thing's pretty warm. But it's fixed rate of fire. I can't change anything on this. I always fire six shots. So we got a bonus crit chance here. We got a bonus crit chance here, and 12 times 10 damage, 120 damage. I mean, it's okay. I'm not amazingly thrilled by it. I mean, the pirate fire control system is not bad either. Plasma rifle for overheating at a distance. We got a range of 600 meters on that. The bin's what, 600? 720. So it's not too bad. We got something to shoot while we're closing. I mean, it's something we can try. Right? Let's try this. We'll validate it. We got 13 days to wait. Cool. Depending on how I'm feeling, because we got like we got lots of money, I may wait. Now you know, I think we'll probably take another mission with these guys first, and then we'll drop this one in the, after that. Because the well, 13 days. How long till the end of the month? 14. But then it's going to take a day to put the the exchanger in. Uh, we'll see how it goes. All right, well, I'm going to end this episode here, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, drop a like. If you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe and put your comments in the comment section down below. Until next time, we'll see you later.